All right, let's take a look at pricing your bundle because if there are no other bundles like yours on Amazon, how do you know what to price it at? Well, to get a very rough guide, just take the cost of goods. Now the cost of goods, that means everything that you had to pay excluding Amazon fees. So when you purchase the components, the cost of that, and then your cost of actually shipping, having the components shipped to you if you bought them online, and then shipping the bundles to Amazon, and the packaging, the bundle packaging as well. So take that and multiply it by two, and you can then get this approximate selling price. Right, so you just get this approximate selling price and then work from there. So going from there, let's just do a couple of quick calculations. So if your the cost of the items that you purchase, the components for the bundle, let's say that's $15. Cost of packaging, let's say that's $250 for this example. Cost of shipping, so if you order the bundles online, order the components, sorry, online, have the components shipped to you and then ship the bundles to FBA. So let's say the total cost of shipping per bundle is $5. Now add on the FBA fees of $4.57. Now I have to take an, an arbitrary figure. You know, don't know exactly. You may have a really huge bundle, but we're going to take this $4.57. And if the selling price is going to be $39.95, so let's say we decided on a selling price of $39.95, then the Amazon selling fees at 15% of that are $6. So our total costs here, total everything, including all the Amazon fees, is $33.07. Now, if we sold at $39.95, then we would make a profit of $6.88. Now, if we did this calculation originally where we took all these costs here excluding fees and multiplied them by two then that would give us a selling price of $45 but we may not be able to sell at that that may be too high a price for the bundle because when we price something we should try and bring it down to well certainly below like a round number so if you're price calculation was say $42, you bring it down to say $39.95, that usually increases sales. But for something like this, that if your guide price was $45, but you decide to sell at $39.95 for a $6.88 profit, you can always try putting the price up later. But it's better to start off with a relatively lower price and cut your profit margins a bit. Now here's another example of a slightly higher value bundle. And if your cost of items was 25 and your packaging was $3, and then your shipping was $6 in total, you got your FBA fees, your selling price, if you'd set it at $59.95, your selling fees would be $9. Your total cost would be $47.57, giving you a profit of $12.38. Now if we did the original calculation of the cost of goods, excluding fees times two, that would have been 68. But instead, if we list at 59.95 to try and get more sales, the profit will be 12.38. Now, here's another couple of examples. And this time, we have a selling price of 49.97 and we're making a profit of 12.90. Now, from our original calculation, our selling price would have been 50. So we've only brought it down buy a few cents this time but bringing it down from that round number by a few cents that can make a very significant difference to sales just because of the psychology of customers the way it works the way people's mind works when they see something at 40 something even if it's $49.97 in their mind that's a $40 product when they see a $50 in their mind, that's a $50 product. And here at the same, this is a, a higher end package again, a higher value package with a selling price of $69.99. An original calculation would have given us a $72 selling price, but we brought it down to $69.99. So in the customer's mind, it is now a $60 
product instead of a $70 product, we're still getting a profit of $18.92, so nearly $19 on this bundle. Now here is two bundles that are kind of at the opposite end of the scale. So we've got a very low cost bundle where the cost of items was only $10. And we've got a, a higher cost bundle where the cost of items were $40. Now you can see the significant difference in the profit margins here. Now when you are selling higher value, sort of higher priced items, then you also need to reflect that with the packaging. So that's why I've got the cost of packaging here at $5, whereas here I've only got the cost of packaging as a dollar, probably just a poly bag, neatly tied together. Whereas here with a higher price bundle, you would want the packaging to reflect that. Your packaging can give your bundle a much higher perceived value. So packaging and presentation can give you a bundle a higher perceived value in the eyes of the customer. So your profit here on this higher price bundle with selling price of $97 and 49 cents, your profit here is over $26. Whereas here, the selling price here of $29.85 and your profit's only $5.88. So this is something to think about, but it's going to depend on your budget as well. You also can experiment with different price points. It's been proven as well that unusual price points, so for example, 29.85 instead of 29.99, for example, the unusual price points catch the customer's eye, so they may be drawn to it, and that may make a difference in whether they click through to your listing page from the Amazon search results. And you need to bring down from the round number because that is going to make a big difference to how the customer perceives the price. It's all to do with a consumer psychology, it's all to do with, with just the way people perceive things. So here we have come down from $30 to $29.85 and here we've come down from $104 to $97.49. We could have tried $99, but $99, 90 something, that's a very common price point. So if you want to try and stand out a little bit, try some different price points, but always come down from the round numbers. Okay, see you in a minute.